welcome to day 22 of our countdown to Christmas. My name is Anna Marie, and um, my scripture for um, today is found in Luke chapter 2, and it's verses 36 through 38. So we'll start with that. Um, now there was one Anna, a prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age, and she had lived with her husband seven years from her virginity. And this woman was a widow of about 84 years who did not depart from the temple, but served God with fastings and prayers night and day. And coming in at that instant, she gave thanks to the Lord and spoke of him to all of those who looked for redemption in Jerusalem. And another translation says for Jerusalem. Um, but there are a couple things that I want us to take away from this scripture. Um, First of all is I want to um, encourage you that if you feel like your life is insignificant or um, there is nothing special about it, that God uses insignificance. Um, Anna was a widow. She, was, um, she didn't do anything spectacular that's noted in the Bible. Um, she spent her day and night, um, her life after being a, becoming a widow, living at the temple, and um, praying, fasting, more than likely she was poor. So um, her life for looking from the outside looked very insignificant. Um, but God used um, her um, insignificance to man at, and brought it to be very significant in proclaiming um, that Jesus had arrived and that the Savior was there for Jerusalem. Um, second, I want to challenge you that um, she spent days and nights praying and fasting. She knew her Savior. She wasn't even introduced and she recognized. And that, is only, that only comes when you know. And you know who Jesus is. You can recognize what he does and how he operates. And I want to challenge you that we spend all this time getting ready for Christmas. I see one season out of 12 months. We look for the perfect gift. We fight the crowds and the traffic and um, we work hard to price match and take things back and get new items or work hard to get the perfect list for the right person. Um, but I want you to look for um, opportunities to get to know your Savior better and well so that when he does operate in your life you're able to recognize it and then you'll be able to tell people genuinely um, how he is your savior and um, share that good news with other people that he's arrived and that he's here. So that's your challenge for today as you prepare the last couple days before Christmas, that you spend some time getting to know your savior and a little bit better and um, tell someone about why we're celebrating this year and how he is your savior.